In my sport, I rely on speed, strength, and skill. The three things that saved my life. One pilot, one paramedic, and a pre-hospital care doctor. In life-saving situations, seconds matter. It really can mean the difference between life and death. I should ride to two o'clock, four miles. There is a helicopter that is left down in that position. This is where I belong. Competing at the top level, I felt I was living someone else's dream. It was the 11th of April 2000. I was 16 when a car crash changed my life. I remember that I was heading out to college with my dad and all of a sudden, not long after leaving the house, a white van veered across us and into our path. And just like that, I'd suffered a neck injury and after the crash, I remember my dad getting out of the vehicle and myself thinking, maybe I should get out of the vehicle, but I couldn't. And I didn't know why. I just thought, maybe you're in shock. The road crash caused me a whiplash injury, which broke my neck and damaged my spinal cord. Physically, a spinal cord injury from the neck resulted in paralysis in most of my body, including my arms and hands. As, as your life has really been turned upside down and, and will never be and can never be the same again. After my assessment, uh, the phone call was made to bring the air ambulance straight to Buzzardon Hospital. One of the main reasons the air ambulance was called was to get me as fast as they could to the spinal hospital. I felt in safe hands from, from the word go and this journey with the air ambulance was critical to my recovery. Primarily, the Essex and Hearts Air Ambulance is there for those patients that are critically unwell and critically injured. Road traffic collisions make up nearly a quarter of the calls that we go out to. The speed in which we can arrive to a patient on scene is absolutely critical. We are attending time-critical injuries, so the faster the better. And then using the Air Ambulance will transport them to the most appropriate hospital for their care. I was a sportsman through and through. And football had been my favourite sport all those years before. After the crash, I was missing sport. And whilst I was in hospital, Bob O'Shea, the captain of the Sydney Paralympics wheelchair rugby team, lived nearby and came in to show and share his love of the game. I was called up to the GB development squad. And I got the call at the end of 2003 to go to a few of the GB training camps. And my very first major was Athens Paralympics in 2004. London Paralympic Games was the highlight of my career. Very few people get the chance to play in their own Paralympic Games. And I was one of a few. And I don't think anything's really gonna beat that feeling. Since Jonathan's accident in 2000, the Essex and Hearts Air Ambulance has attended over 15,000 missions, and that's a lot of lives saved. We're a life-saving charity. We're here for the people of Essex and Hertfordshire. We rely on the generosity of the people of Essex and Hearts for our continued funding, for us to continue to go out and save lives. I love that we are pushing the boundaries of pre-hospital care for the patient and that's something that I'm very excited to be a part of.
Now it's all about Rio Paralympic Games, and this time I'm determined to come home with a gold medal. Thank you to everyone who supports us, as without you, we couldn't continue to do our job and save lives. Please support them so they can continue saving lives.